Hey all Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is US 66, historic US 66. We're on our way over to Bullhead City. I gotta get the van service, and guess what? Road trip. But I thought I'd cut through here. Take a little scenic look. Instead of taking uh, I-40. Let's stop here. I've stopped here a few times. They got some storyboards. Maybe we'll get test out the drone here a second. Look at the overcast, but we're still doing a road trip. We're going to be gone a few days. We're heading north a little bit. You'll find out more later. This is the road to Oatman. So let's... I'll show you the storyboards real quick. This little stretch of 66 goes a ways. Normally it gets chopped up. But from Kingman over to here, it's a good 30 miles, I think. 40 miles. This road is traveled heavily. I always see cars, trucks vans, everything with different license plates from all over the country. This is also where you check out the spring bloom. The flowers will bloom through this valley, especially on the other side of the mountain pass that we're going to go over. Love it, love it, love it. I could drive this road every day. Wouldn't bother me a bit. All right, we say we uh, take a look from the air and then we'll get on our way. 2,200 miles of U.S. One of these days I want to drive the whole thing. One of these days. Cutting over from I-40 over to Bullhead City is only about an hour drive. But it's probably one of the best hours you're ever going to spend in your life. Now what I'm looking for, and it's hard to tell because it's overcast, but I can see greenery starting in the desert. Because we've had some rain. Not enough. We can start seeing the greenery popping. Which that means there will be a bloom here this year. The bloom usually starts mid-March, 1st of April. Won't last. Only lasts a week or two. We'll definitely look for it here in a few weeks. There's 66 right there. Pretty decent road. It gets sun cooked, kind of rough in spots. You cannot take a rig over 40 feet through the switchbacks. They don't allow it. So this is more of a road for a car, truck, van, or small class B or C. Or even a smaller class A. But look at the mountains, isn't it neat? Right out there is that little uh, cool springs. It's like a little tourist trap, gift shop, all that. Well, away we go. Yeah, over in Bullhead, I'm going to get the van serviced. Oil change, fluids, filters, that kind of thing. There's a RV dealer and a auto dealer there that will work on Mercedes. Thank goodness. Right up here on the right, this is that little Cool Springs now. I guess these buildings were in a movie. And uh, that's their claim to fame. It's really cool to stop. They got a really neat looking little gift shop. All kinds of souvenirs. You can gold pan here. Because these hills, it's mining country. If you ever get a chance, check out that little Cool Springs place there. Alright, well, I'm going to kind of fast track it through here. We'll stop and see a few sites. Look, I see blue sky way off in the distance. Weather's been all over the place. Windy blowing one day, overcast the next. Temperature's been in the 50s, 60s. Typical February desert weather. 
Look at the mountains up that direction. This whole area is honeycombed with mines. They've been mining this forever. They got it dated clear back in the 1800s or might even be earlier, who knows. But you see all them little dirt trails down through there. There's 66. There's a good look how it snakes up the hillside. Way up top at Sick Grease Pass. If the hills could talk, huh? My goodness. But all kinds of, you know, motorcycles, you see a ton of them come through here too. It's just a perfect road for motorcycle riding. But it is heavily, heavily traveled. There's a better look how it's greening up. See the cactuses? They're happy. They've been watered. So when you see that, you'll know you'll get a spring bloom a little later on. I don't know what it is about this valley. It's probably one of the prettiest in the whole area of northern Arizona to catch the flowers. I'm about the only one on the road today. I haven't seen hardly any cars. Oh, another cool thing to see up here. It's called uh, Schaefer's Fish Bowl. And they got goldfish. It's a little mountain stream that feeds right into a little pond, man-made pond out of concrete. Miners must have done it a long time ago. And they got these stairs here. You hike right up to it. And you'll just see the water comes straight out of the hillside year round. See how it fills up? People have put goldfish in there. You can't really tell right now. But look how the water just percolates out of here. There it is. Schaefer's Fishbowl Spring. <laughs> Gotta stop and see this thing. It's about two thirds away up the mountain. Isn't that cool? And that's really cool water coming out of the hill too. Kind of easy to miss when you're driving up the hill. Just got to look for those con those steps, those concrete stone steps. And what a view you'll have when you hike up these steps up here to Schaefer's Fishbowl Spring. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Winding up the hill. Look, we're, it's clearing up. Nice. Yay. Good. We're almost up top. Up here it's called Sick Grease Pass. The elevation here is over 3,500 feet. Look at the power lines running through here. But here's the top of the pass. over the hill now way way out that's California kind of hard to tell now Colorado River this drops all the way down into Oatman beautiful I'm glad I came this way today Halfway down here, there's actually a very active commercial mine. A lot of people work here. Look how that drops straight off. There's no guardrail. <laughs> Look at this switchback, too. It, it's, uh, well, it's beyond 180 degrees here. Look at that thing. That's why they don't want you bringing up big rigs. Look at all the spoils that are there actually mining underneath the road. Once again, these hills are just honeycombed full of mine shafts. That's fairly new. I don't remember all that spoil pile there. So they, they're mining this side now. They go for all kinds of minerals, gold, silver, and more. 
this mine here. It employs quite a few people. You always see a lot of vehicles here. Then you'll see, like off the left, it's hard to tell, but there's fenced off concrete where they've sealed the mines with concrete, the entrances, and fenced them off. Here's the mine. Here's where all the workers park. Look at all the cars. There's a huge conveyor system that uh, hauls the uh, spoils away out here. Very, very active mine. Heck, they're parking all over the place. They must be really working it right now. 2.2 miles into open. Here's the big town of Oatman. It's a little early. Probably won't be too much going here. This is where you can see all the burrows. Look at them green chairs. I gotta wait on this guy here. Very old rustic buildings. Come on, buddy. There you go. Bars, restaurants, little stores, souvenir shops. Everything and anything to do about mining. Just the old west. Very touristy. Tour buses come up through here. But look at the storefront. Aren't those cool? General store. Look at the buggy on top of that roof there. Just a neat place to visit. I don't see any of the burrows. A lot of times out you can feed the burrows here. You can buy the food and feed them. There it is, there's just a quick look. We're heading to Bullhead City, Arizona. Right up here, the road's gonna split 66. We'll head down towards the south, like down toward, back towards uh, I-40. Then we're going to take a road that kind of veers off to the right up here. Right here where the road splits, there's a good look. You always see, see that big empty area right there between the two roads? You always see people camping there. No one's there right now. That's unusual. Normally you'll see a couple, at least a couple rigs. Once again, the road to the left is 66, US 66, and then to the right, that cuts you straight over Bullhead City, and that's what we want to go, because we're going to pick up uh, 95 over there. Now, right in here, you'll find huge spring blooms. This, All these hills and valleys in here will fill up full of orange flowers. I've filmed it for the last few years through here, and this is probably one of the best places you'll find the spring bloom. That's looking straight back at Oatman. But look at the terrain. There's all kinds of trails. You can bring four-wheelers out here and really just explore all these hills. And once again, it's honeycombed with mines. Very active place. But that big valley straight ahead, that's where we're heading. Bullhead City. Really looking forward to the road trip. It's still slightly early for a big one. This is just going to be a minor one. We're going to be gone about seven days, somewhere around there. Maybe eight. Depends on weather. I still might hit weather direction I'm heading, which is kind of north. Yay, here we are, 95. Yeah, these Mercedes vans, a lot of oil places, uh, oil change places won't even touch them. 
So it's either going to a Mercedes dealer, which there's none around here, or this place up the road here called Swanties. They're a Jeep dealer, car dealer, and they also sell RVs, and they got a huge service department that will lube uh, RVs. And this thing's class like an RV because it's got the diesel, Mercedes diesel, and all that in it. So they did it last summer. They did a really good job. And they're pretty reasonable, so it's going to be right up the road here in Bullhead City. And I still see that blue sky coming in. Here we are, Bullhead City. There's about every store you can think of over here, too. A couple weeks ago, we were up here and we did the free camping free casino camping over in Laughlin. Mighty Colorado River is right off left. We are on the Nevada Arizona state line right here. See that big white building coming up? The Swanee's uh, Jeep Dodge dealer. Right there, that's where the van's gonna get serviced. Well, it's on the rack. About an hour, guess what? Road trip, the journey continues. Talk soon.